G'day guys, welcome back to the AFL Vlogs. The D's are taking on GWS tonight. I'm heading into the footy with Connor Rogers and the team at Producey. So everyone who is helping put together the podcast will be in tonight at the footy. A couple of beers, a bit of a feed. Um, cannot wait, it's gonna be really, really fun. Come on, D's. Have you seen this? Cup holders in the seat. Yeah. Jesus Christ. So this is what Eddie Maguire feels like. Two minutes before we kick off. Fever pitch scenes here at the MCG. Saturday night football. I want your tip. Who are you tipping? Um, just quietly. The most perfect weather for football you've ever seen. Uh, but I'm picking the D by 41 points. 41. That's a pretty emphatic victory. I'm going to tip the D's. Days 40 would be good. I'm going to say the days by 33. I seem to say that every week. Yeah, well, it's a great number. Two threes are better than one, as we always say. This will take some kicking from Cozzy Pickett. Yeah, well, it's going to be tough for him, given the massive Giants cheer squad putting him off. That's going to be, <laughs> that's going to be a massive struggle. Can't Coz. Yeah, really careful. Run. Oh, it's straight. Yeah. It's drifting. Yeah. yeah. Fair shoe from Coles. Well, off the boot, it looked a bit, looked a bit elevated. It looked a bit like he sort of yeah. shinned it a little bit, but it's just sailed through in the end. Oh, I'll take that. Cozzy's on the board. Dees are up by two goals. Cozzy pick it, line out for his second. Can't, Coz. KP. Beautiful yeah. off the boot, Cozzy! Pick angles to tell as well. Bailey, Fritch. Kicking from the mem members. Yeah. Oh my lord! He just kicked that from three rows back in the members. Made it look easy, didn't he? As clean as a whistle off the boot, and no celebration of match. Well. Scored a time here at the G. Yeah. D's four, straight 24. Yeah. The Giants, they're yeah. a 5 5. Is it over? Is it over? <laughs> no, mate, it's not over. I'm very much looking forward to Finn Callahan making his debut tonight. I've been very much anticipating that one. Good to see Cornelio playing well. And um, we just love the Giants here. And what's going on down back? May and Lever are having a bit of a bit of a picnic. Oh, I've gone. had a couple of beers. I haven't really watched the game at all, so <laughs> I don't know what's actually happening. Gone lining up from 55. Almost his favourite spot. He really makes the most of the man on the mark all here. He really veers around about 10 steps and hooks it, but always manages to drill it. I reckon, the guts. I reckon he's a chance. I reckon he's a big chance. What do you reckon? Yeah, you get <laughs> Go. Yes! yes! <laughs> Cody! Never in doubt. Never in doubt. Himmelberg gets the Giants on the board with his first. He's tossed one over his head. Good fall pressure and a good snag. Yeah, double H, Harrison Himmelberg. Where do you rate him in the key forward sort of? I rate him up there. Yeah. I do rate him up there. Top top 30% of key forwards? Yeah. Yeah, comfortable. I'm just on the press press. Maybe, <laughs> maybe 31. Jesse Hogan to reduce it to a 14 point margin. Hulk Hogan. He slots it. Now the snack's going down, Roger. Mate, I, didn't, I would never would have thought a hot cross bun was sort of a football snack, but I'm pleasantly surprised. <laughs> I'm, certainly, I'm certainly not You're really cultured here. Uh, <laughs> and a chocolate hot cross bun as well, not even the standard hot cross bun. Roger, half time. <laughs> <laughs> not your standard half time either. <laughs> I don't know if I can uh, go back to the pies and chips of the <laughs> Not when you've got a hot cross bun, you've got a plot of. Oh, what have we got here? Thank you very much. What was your name, Ronnie? Ronnie. The D's 6 2 38. The Giants 3 6 24. They've had their chances on them. Yeah, but it's just your stock standard. Yeah, oh, they're within reach, but they're never within reach. Demons I hope so. Six goal win. I really hope so. I think we've had control of the game. The Giants did well to get back in it. You're hoping for a tight one, though. Well, as you would as a neutral. As a neutral, even as. 
a, a Carlton supporter, when we played the Hawks and I was starting to kick along, I thought, oh yeah, at least I'm going to see a game here. But when it got a bit too close for comfort, I started to get a little bit uncomfortable. But I'd like to see a close game as a neutral, but I feel the Demons will give away six to eight goals. Going the first hot cross bun of my hot cross bun career. Do you like raisin toast? No. <laughs> well, I've never had a hot cross bun. Like, I'm keen to see it. Do you want me to film it? Mate, I thought Ravioli was risotto two minutes ago. <laughs> I'll take control of this. Let's see. Which part? The Davey Hot Cross. Make sure you get a bit of butter in there. Yep. <laughs> yeah, in it, in a river. It's getting very difficult to, to leave the creature carpets of the, uh, well, the function room. Never in my life have I been offered a hot cross buns and free beers at the football. I don't know if I'll be back out in the seats to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> How are we going to go when we're up at the no nosebleeds just having the buys of chips? <laughs> I tell you, it's bizarre. You come all the way to the MCG and you're just watching the footy on fourth wheels all up there. Start of the third and... The days are starting to kick clear here, Roger. They are starting to kick clear, um, and I thought it would stretch out to a bit of a six-goal sort of big, easy victory, but I'm not reading just and say maybe a 10 to 12 goal victory. Oh, I would hope so. They're starting to kick clear. Tommy McDonald, Alex Neil Bullen. They're all getting involved. They're all getting involved. So the D's are out to 37 points. Start of the third. Come on, Dan. Come on, Tommy. Oh. It's an avalanche! It's an absolute clinic! Jake Bowie's gone bang from 50 metres out. The D's are up, I think that's 47 points or 57 well, points? Yeah, every year there seems to be a dozen rule changes and not once yet have they brought in a mercy rule. Surely soon, you're up by 10, 12 goals, we all go home, we get a nice <laughs> early night's sleep. Why are we bothering persisting with this? <laughs> Come on, Sammy! Finish this! <laughs> yeah! Three quarter time here at the MCG. The D's 16 4, 100. The Giants 5 8 38. It is an absolute demolition job, and we haven't done that for a long time. We're the kings of the 18 to 30 point winning margin in control all game, but never really put teams away. It was a frustration after the Port Adelaide. Play. You're the king for that. <laughs> Just a very niche king. <laughs> it was a frustration last week. We could have put the power to the sword. We didn't. It was a bit of a criticism online by the Melbourne supporters, but they'd be stoked after this because this is a very good performance. It is, but I, I would love to see, when it gets to a comprehensive win like this, you want to see the D's ringing like yeah. 130 points, but I feel like they'll let the put off the accelerator and the giant flight kick to a three. And it might be one of those ones where the three quarter time margin is about the same as the final margin. But if they wanted to, they could win yeah. by over 100 points here. I agree. If there was an act to typify the selflessness of the reigning premiers, I think that's right up there. Tommy Sparrow would take a bow. Probably ices it if he kicks this, yeah. you feel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh so what a much. performance! What a performance! Straight out of the middle, Pickett, Jackson, little one to Neil Bullen, gives to Spargo. And it is party time here at the G. 18 touches and a goal. That's exactly what you want to see from your half forward flank. The link man, you reckon? Yeah, he's the link man. He's the man at 65, kicking it to the, you know, in, inside that 40 sort of zone. He doesn't always get on the scoreboard, Charlie Spargo, but his 18 touches are crucial. Five and zip, 19-6-120 have defeated the Giants, 7-11-53. Just a professional performance, an emphatic victory. Solidified Premiership favourites. You couldn't ask for a lot more heading into this game, could you? You couldn't, and a lot of players stepped up. I think Cosie kicked three, Stephen May was solid in defence, and Langdon just runs all day. You just gotta be happy with that one. It is the perfect outfit, and I just can't see a team getting close to you. Okay. Another game done and dusted. The D's have gotten home. Now I am heading home to edit. I might get some chips and gravy and a pizza. There's certainly that temptation. Uh, yeah, really emphatic performance, really professional performance. A demolition, an avalanche of snags. Uh, I was so, yeah, so pumped. So pumped to finally see us put together a four quarter performance and just strangle another footy side. So five and zip. I'm starting to get a bit excited, a little bit confident. 
Roger kept saying back to back, back to back on the vlog. I will not be tolerating any of that sort of nonsense just yet, but the signs are there and the club is playing good footy. I'm going to wrap the vlog up there, guys. I really appreciate the support. I appreciate everyone tuning in and I'll be back for some more content very, very soon. Cheers, guys.